Hey everybody, this is an installation and review of a Harkin Hoister. This came from Amazon, about $125, $129. What it is, is a system, a hoist system to be able to hoist up something in your garage and raise it up in the air so you can just store it up there and then put it back down when you want to take off. For example, this is uh, meant for uh, Jeep tops. So you install this and you back your Jeep in, you hook it up and you raise it up and you store it up in the sky in your garage while you're driving around topless in your Jeep. And then you come back on, you put it back on and drive away with the top. But um, it's, it's a system that works for other stuff as well. They give you some straps, I think, that go underneath something else. And I'm gonna use it for my rooftop tent. And I'll probably install two of them, one on each side of the garage, one for the Jeep top, one for the rooftop tent, be able to store them up high and be able to just put them off or put them on or take them off when I need to. So, so far, I've gone through all the stuff in here, the instructions, everything else. It's pretty solid, pretty good uh, shape, pretty nice instructions. They're very understandable, not in Korean. And so uh, my expectations are, are exceeded as far as that goes for something off of Amazon that's fairly cheap compared to the other stuff that's out there. So far, so good, but we'll see when we get down to the wire. I'm gonna show you what I've done so far, and then we're getting into the, the meat of it. All right, so far, I made a trip to Lowe's, and these instructions are in the packet that tell you exactly what to get. And what it is, is you get two beams that are gonna go, be installed and screwed, bolted to the beams in your garage. So the rafters are up there and you see the white lines, that's the caulk lines and, and the mud lines that go, that's the way my beams are going. So if, uh, that's typically the case in a garage. So you follow the instructions for that. And what it is is a six foot board, two by six. And I just found the marks where the beams were and measured. I drilled holes and measured them and cut uh, drilled holes in the board so I can bolt those up to the, the rafters. And then one of the other pieces of the instructions was take a little uh, piece that big and bolt that to the board and then put the little pulley system and screw that on there like that. So far, so good. So far, very easy. Nothing out of the ordinary, just straightforward. Putting two boards up where it's going to go. The thing you have to look at is my beams are a little farther apart because I'm storing my rooftop tent, which is longer than a Jeep top. Jeep top's gonna to be closer together because it wants you to make those little curly hooks right there. Um, those need to be lined up about where the points that you're gonna lift something are. So uh, plus two inches. So you'll see in the instructions that tells you what to do. Mark the points, figure out where the top is gonna to be, and then that's where how far apart you're gonna have everything and where you're gonna have those little curly hooks. So the next thing from where I am now is just to mount the pulley system and put the ropes up and mount it on the back wall back here so that it will connect down here to the wall. You'll pull it down when I need to, when I raise something up and then lift it up when I want to put it back on my Jeep. And we'll see where we go. All right, it looks like the last step, so I've got this, the rope all strung through the pulleys and all that. The last step is to hook these straps, which is what goes underneath whatever you're lifting, to the ropes. So the rope gets tied under each end of the strap, and then we have the underneath thing, two of them, and then we feed that under and lift it up.
All right, it's done. Now we just gotta hoist up something. So, hard part was I'm not a knot guy, so look up your knots online, it's a figure eight knot. So you gotta get it just right so it's gonna hold all that weight. And so every one of those corners has to be tucked in through that strap and tied right, but it looks good now. Now we got two loops hanging down, so I gotta just, those little straps having a, a clamp that you just take off, feed it underneath your, your hood, your roof, put it up on the other side and you hoist it up. Let's see how that goes. Okay, it's done. So this is what we ended up with. So, um, it, so it still goes down plenty. And um, when I get my Jeep in, so I'm gonna raise it back up. I just had to straighten it out a little bit. It was a little bit skewampus, so. Works great, pull, the, pull it up to the top, pull the Jeep in, drop it down on the Jeep, and those, these are the things that I kept for the rack and just attached to here. So I just keep them attached, drop it down, bolt it on, and I'm good to go. Very nice. Uh, thing that it didn't come with is a little uh, wall loop to wrap the rope around so that just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere in case it slips or something so maybe they're confident that it's not going to but i'm gonna put something up there to wrap the rope around just to make sure but fantastic it's worth 125 bucks get that thing off the floor and gain space in my garage and you'll notice i just keep those racks on it that hook onto the roof, my roof rack here and so i just set it down and screw it through with the screws and it's good to go so it'll be very convenient from now on. But yeah, I'd give it a uh, install was smooth. Installation, our instructions were very good and all the parts were there, everything was good. I'd give it a nine out of 10.